Welcome to the Silicon University channel. This video's topic is wall draft angle. So there is an option in both the profile and pocket toolpaths to add a wall draft angle to the operation. Now what that actually means is even though your geometry might have a draft angle like this 30 degree angle here, we're not recognizing it. What we're doing is we're choosing a contour geometry and then adding that profile that, uh, that, that draft angle to it. Uh, so give an example, let's just do this one right here. So I've created a profile operation. The geometry is the top edge of that wall. And I'm just gonna use a 30 degree taper mill. My levels are just the same, like I normally would do with a profile operation. I've got the top and I've got the bottom of the wall. And then my technology tool left side, I'm giving it a quarter inch step down. All of this is exactly the same. Where you find the wall draft angle option is under the advanced tab and wall draft angle. When you click on this, all you're really doing is telling SolidCam to add that angle, in this case, a 30 degree angle from that line. And then in terms of cut direction, um, that's all still controlled by the technology section. So we're still doing climb milling, but in this case, I'm telling it to go along that draft angle wall from the top to the bottom. I could do bottom top if I really want to, but again, this is really just a cut direction. Now, if we take a look at that in practice, I'll just check the box. You can see that the tool comes down, machines the wall, retracts, machines the wall, and if we look at that from the side, it actually has added that draft angle. So I only had one piece of contour geometry, the line, but I told it to move out 30 degrees. Okay, and if I just do a quick host cat on that, we can see exactly what that does. So the tool comes down, goes along that wall, retracts, repositions, and again, it's following that wall. So there's nothing here in terms of recognition. What it is, is it's kind of a two and a half D toolpath approximating a 3D toolpath. We're adding a draft angle to that single line. Now, just a quick note on this particular toolpath here. Um, you can see that it's retracted to the clearance area with each pass. Now, that's kind of maybe a waste of motion. I don't actually have to retract that far. So in general, you can do this. You go to your your link section and you go to links between passes. I'll change this to, let's say, safety distance from current pass. We calculate that and there we go. It retracts to what I had set in my level section as my safety distance. So rather than going to the clearance error every time, I'm just gonna get it to do one pass, retract just that 100 thou, reposition, and, and keep going like that. So there's kind of a way to kind of streamline that particular uh, toolpath there. But um, the wall draft angle exists both in the profile toolpath and the pocketing toolpath. So I look on the bottom side here, I have a pocket here that has a draft angle on it. And I've created this pocketing toolpath. So you can actually do pocketing on a, on a draft pocket. Now let me just get a cross section view of that. We can see what's going on there. So you can actually see that it's still just a pocketing toolpath with the contour step overs and such. But when you look at it from the side, it's actually adding that 30 degrees on the walls as well. And that again, was pretty much just the same sort of programming you would do with a pocket. So in this case, the top edge of the contour. The tool, I'm still using a regular flat end mill. I'm just gonna machine this pocket out like I normally would. Levels, same thing as before. I'm just giving it a 100,000 step down so that we can actually see a couple of passes. In the technology section, all of this is exactly the same. Just again, in the advanced tab, wall draft angle. And we have the same sort of control here. Um, I'm adding a wall angle. So this is just the draft angle. If there happen to be any islands, we can add an, uh, an island angle as well. We don't have the same option as top to bottom bottom to top because this is a pocketing toolpath. It's assuming that we want to rough this out. So it's just gonna start from the top and go down. Uh, the other option that I didn't mention in the profile, but is a little more applicable here, is what to do when it gets to those corners. So again, this is defined by just that one edge. So as it drafts down, how does it actually draft the, the corners? So that's what's going on right here. Right now I have it set to conical corner. 
And you can actually see a little bit of how that works when I click on the profile toolpath that I created. So as you can see there, we're starting on that corner there, but as we progress down in the draft, that radius has to get smaller and smaller. So that's what the draw draft angle is. It's just a conical corner. And again, bottom left corner usually shows you what it is you're trying to control with this one option. If I switch this to sharp corner, then we can see that it'll still continue the draft, but when it gets to that corner, it'll do a sharp corner. If I keep going cylindrical, it just puts in a constant radius as it goes down. So depending on what your part looks like, you might need to do that. Again, there's no recognition here. It's just you're choosing from here how you'd like the toolpath to look. But in this case, I want it to look conical because the pocket is conical. So I'll exit out of here. Okay. And the same thing as before. So it's more about your tool selection and your manual input as to the draft angle than anything else. You can still machine these sort of draft pockets. This is kind of a 3D toolpath, but it isn't a recognition toolpath like our other 3D toolpath. But it gets the job done. If you ever have any kind of just simple draft angle like this, you're following a particular profile. Between profile and pocket, you should be able to do a draft wall. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCAM, you can always give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at SolidCAMSupport.com, or stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.